All right. What about teenagers? And um, do you feel that life was better in, say, the 1950s? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't around. So oh, but it's, you understand it's... what it was like in those days? Um... You've seen happy days. I don't know. People always say, don't they? Old people always say, oh, uh, you know, it's a better life in the 50s. And it's like, yeah, it was for them. Of course it was for them. They're old now. Being old isn't great, is it? So you're just happy with your lot. I suppose I was happiest starting about 1984. <laughs> right. Quite specific year. Why? Why was that? Just I was free and happy. How old, how old were you? I don't know. Uh, I need to... He's just counting on his fingers now. 12. Right, OK. And it was just good. So uh, the happiest days of your life were between the age of 12 and 13? Yeah, it was good. I had the world ahead of me. Mm. Um, Little did you know, your hair was going to fall out and you were going to whinge every minute of the day. I had my bike. I like messing about my bike. You had your mates. I had a pet magpie. <laughs> so you were probably the teenager that you eventually hate? Probably. Were you a good lad, law-abiding? I wasn't bad. I just sort of, you know, just potted about. I mean, when people talk about what was on the telly back then, I, I don't have that much memory of it, because I was always out, I was always playing out. What were you doing when you were out? Just playing about, just, like, on a bike or... Just riding in a circle endlessly Tell through you. blizzards, I loved it. rain, sleet, loved hail. It. I never seemed to be in. I was always... When, when everyone always goes, where were you when uh, Band Aid was happening? I was always out on my bike. And everything was like... you and McGregor? A, a memory's always sort of, like, coming in for some orange... And looking at the telly and seeing Princess Diana's getting married, and my mum says, Have you seen this? And I'm going, Oh, I'm going out on my bike. I was always doing that. The only time I was in my house. <laughs> this is why you don't know anything, because you never stopped. Yeah, but this is what being a kid's about. But That's all what the I mean, information being free. you have, Carl, is as though you've gleaned it as you raced by on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like, you know, every piece of information you have. Your hair, it your is. hair blowing the wind. <laughs> Carl, your hair will blow out one day. Oh, don't talk stupid, ma'am. It was, it was easy. So, yeah, 12 to 13 was good. But you see... And it was all downhill from then, was it? 13. It's your teenager then, aren't you? Life got tough. Yeah. How did it get tough? Just straight away when I was 13, my mum was like, you know, oh, it's your 13th birthday, you're a teenager now. Right. And she gave us a quid to go and get a cake to celebrate it. <laughs> Went to the supermarket, got a cake, and I just thought, I don't like the look of this. don't like the look of the way the future is here. <laughs> <laughs> On his 13th birthday! <laughs> well, you were buying a cake. What, what did what you see at the supermarket? Just, that... It was kind of like, I don't know, I suddenly felt grown up. And I didn't like it. But I think you were always about 58, really, with your outlook. Well, yeah, my mum always said I was old. She said I was an old baby. She said I could frown before I could walk. <laughs> <laughs> so they always had a bit of a worry look on my face. <laughs> Didn't say much, just always listened. My eyes moved about more than I did. Just sat there looking around, looking stressed. Uh, <laughs> my eyes moved about more than I did. <laughs> oh, dear, I couldn't walk. Well, I can't walk, but I'll try and get a bit of movement in my face. Mm. Um, it's a yeah. workout, a baby workout. Oh, babies, well, if you can't walk, what about your face? Let your face do the walking. It sounds like uh, that horror film. It sounds like Pilkington's baby. <laughs> Yeah. Just you lying there in your cot. I didn't like all the stuff that's set up for you. Like, me, me mum tried to send me to, um, like, a nursery. I said, no, I'm not having this. <laughs> Just like that. I said, I said Three, when, I'm I'm older, when I'm older and I've got to go, I'll go, but let's leave out this bit. And she said, all right. She was... <laughs> I love that he could reason with her. I love him. He's like, he's three years old with a pipe. She's going, you go to the nursery. She goes, I, I think not, mum. <laughs> I mean, kids don't play out, do they? Kids, you know, parents are scared to let the kids play out, and that's why the streets are dangerous now, because no one's playing out on the streets. Whereas when I was a kid, everyone was out on the streets, so the streets were safer, because there was more people knocking about. Right. Let the kids play out. It must be like a constant, like a Larry painting, is front garden, do you know what I mean? <laughs> just loads of people just walking around. There was never around. any problems. I was sort of taken away by some fella. <laughs> what? Who, uh, what? Whoa, 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 no, whoa. no I, was in, I was playing about in the garden. Yeah. But my dad's mate, Tony... Yeah. He did tiling with him. He drove past. And he saw me looking a bit fed up, so he just leant over, picked me up, took me to the pub. Now, the thing is, he wasn't panicked. People weren't going, oh, God, where's Carl gone? He's out. Just, just... How old were you? He's down the pub. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, four, he's four years old, yeah. <laughs> well, he's only having a... He's down the pub with Tony, probably, playing darts. <laughs> Yeah, I was about three or four. Sorry, so some bloke drives by who happens to be a friend of your dad's, thinks that baby looks grumpy. Yeah. I'm taking him down but to the that's, pub. that's what it Tony, was like. Tony, you bringing a baby to the pub? <laughs> uh, yeah, I might do, yeah, we're all bringing ours. <laughs> all right, see you later, mate. Well, that's what I'm saying, whereas now they go, the baby's gone, there's a big full-on panic going yeah, on. Yeah, but I think it says more about your parents that they didn't do that. They looked out of the back car <laughs> and you were gone. Some bloke's driving off in a van. And they're just going, yeah. oh, help. They drove down the pub. Uh, doesn't Princess Diana look lovely? <laughs>
<laughs> this is absurd. So what happened when you got down the pub? I just was there for a bit, and then... Uh, the for dad... a bit? Just had a game of pool? Then my dad came in. It was like, oh, there you are. Mm. Oh, there you are! I love that! Oh, where's my baby? Going to... I'm just going to have a quick pint. Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, mate. So, uh, yeah, I think things were better back then.